Hey folks, in this training, I'm going to talk to you about how to create a easy payment link using Stripe. Um, I'll put the link below, stripe.com is where you can go to set up an account. Now there are a variety of different payment options that you can use. For the most part, Stripe was one of those companies that were pushed toward developers because of the need to know coding. That is no longer the case. You can easily create a payment link and you can use this in a variety of ways. If you are serious about creating income online, you're going to have to have a way in order to accept payment. So many people know about PayPal and of course you could create a payment link. Now, before we go into the tutorial, I want you to understand why it's important for you to consider being more in control of accepting payment versus going to third party websites. So you may be familiar with various websites to do, let's say crowdfunding, or they will um, allow people who support you or your audience to pay a monthly fee when you can technically set that up yourself. If you're the one creating the audience, why send them to a third party where they would take a commission of that just to exist. So if you are responsible for creating your own audience, you might as well just take them to something that you own. Now, if you don't have an audience and being on those third party platforms helps you find an audience, then by all means, them receiving a commission is par for the course, okay? So let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. So I'm going to bring you over to my screen and of course, this is uh, Stripe. You're gonna have a Stripe account. Make sure that you have that before you come to Stripe trying to set up payment links, okay? So we're gonna go here to payments. We're gonna scroll down to payment links, okay? So if you look right here, start selling fast, no code required. Sell your product or service by sharing a link to a payment with your customers. Now, let's go ahead and create a link and let me move out of the way a little bit. So um, now if you already have products, you'll see them over in the drop down, and you can just go ahead and create the checkout for specific products or you can add a new one, which is what we'll go ahead and do here. Now you're gonna name your product or service if you spell it correctly <laughs> and you're going to put your description here. Now we're gonna put a price. Now, as it relates to currency, it really just depends on what currency you're working with and whatever country you're working with. And here are some of the options. We're gonna make this USD. And we're gonna do recurring here. And you can determine how often you want your customer to get charged. Now, here is where I really want you to understand um, how big of a deal it is. So again, if you're on these websites that, let's say you're giving premium content or you have some type of monthly subscription service, you don't need to go to a third party website anymore. You can now have your customers um, do reoccurring payments with you. If you want a membership, that type of thing, this is what you can use and they can go straight to you and opposed to using a website that will take additional commissions from you. All right, let's go ahead and do that. In here, if you wanna do a one-time fee, if it's a one-time service or they're paying for a particular product, you can go ahead and make it a one-time occurrence. All right, and your customers, this is just a, a price description and you'll use that internally. Now you can upload the photo of whatever it is that you are selling. And we're gonna hit add and you type in your password and here you see the checkout page. So let me just move here. And this is what your confirmation page would look like once the transaction goes through. And then you can also adjust or see at least what it will look like if your customer is using a cell phone or if they're on a desktop. Now here you can allow various things. If you want your customers to be able to qualify how many they want or quantify rather, if you want to use any promotional codes, add tags, address, whatever information that you want to include on your checkout, you're able to customize that here. Now, this is super important because now you're able to get contact information on the customers that already said they wanted to support you versus those type of things being semi hidden when you are going to third party websites. Okay, and now we're gonna come up here to create link, create the link. And there you have it. So you're gonna copy this link. 
okay? And this is the link that you use. Um, you can use this in your social media. You can use this in the email. If there's a product, let's say you want to do a class or a workshop. Now you have a link where you can charge your customers. So these details are just basically going to tell you everything about this particular product and your link because once you start creating more, you're going to want to know which link is which. So again, you can put this in text, email, social media, um, and you'll get an email every time there is a successful transaction and things like that. And is if you, which I would rather you do, is integrate this with other processes that you have in your business and you can automate that things happen when people make certain payments. So that was a little bit of tech. I hope you all followed me on that and I didn't get you all caught up in like what just happened, but this is super important. So if you are using a third party website, really consider just taking this into your business and having more control over that. Because when you sign to people's terms of service, they can change things at any moment. They can change your commissions. They can change anything. They can do whatever they want to do with your um, audience and your customer's data. And you want to protect that. Okay. So I hope that was helpful. And um, yeah, till next time.